A day after a huge apartment fire, we're getting a clearer picture of how much the people living there have lost. Jet Ranger 2 was overhead shortly after the fire broke out yesterday afternoon in Hazeldell. No one was killed or injured, but dozens of families are now struggling in the aftermath. K2's Margie Lynch spent the day with many of those residents, and Margie, this must have been such a tough day for all of them. Really difficult, Angelica. It's scary and it's overwhelming. And not to mention a lot of them after this happened yesterday didn't get any sleep last night because they couldn't sleep. So as they came back today and looked at what they have to take on, some feel like it's too much to take. It's been an exhausting day for Mildred. I can't even lay down. I'm tired. I'm tired. She can't because she lost everything in the fire. Everything, including the power supply for her motorized chair and her bed. And my walker's in there. I don't have nothing no more. I worked hard to get this stuff. The fire destroyed 20 apartments here. Investigators say it started in a bedroom on the lower level, and with no sprinklers in the building, it spread quickly. Ted Seaman and his fiance Becky lost everything too. So right above ours, their whole floor is down in our living room now. But they'll miss the pictures of the kids' moats. They're getting help from strangers, people who brought by clothes. I have one of mine. Yeah, and we're on day, day two on it, I think. So, yeah, I was uh, just excited to have any clothes in general. Or even Red Cross to even show up and try and help us out. I mean, I've, I've never dealt with this. I don't even know anybody who's had a house burned down before. So. There was a bright spot in all the dark ashes. Sean Ritchie, firefighter with Clark County, was putting out flare-ups early this morning when he heard something then found this kitten. So we kind of started to poke around some of the rubble and debris. Got a little louder, a little louder, a little louder. He pulled away some roofing that fell on a couch. As soon as we got that roofing out, you know, you could hear meow, 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 louder and louder and louder. Then rescued the burned cat. So we gave it some medical grade oxygen on a pediatric mask, um, which fit the cat really well. And uh, I, we didn't have a blanket available to us, so I took off my T-shirt and wrapped the cat in it. The kitten doing much better today, but firefighters still don't know who owns it. Some say it's one positive bit of news they can hold on to in the daunting task of rebuilding their lives. And a couple people were hurt in this fire. A firefighter hurt his back. A resident was having chest pains. Both of them appear to be okay now today. And we're getting some good news now tonight. People coming by telling us about benefits they're going to have just to help these guys out. One lounge is going to have a benefit on May 1st, and another business says all proceeds tomorrow will go to the victims of this fire. That business is called Movie Movers. All sales tomorrow, the proceeds from that will go to victims here. We'll get that information on our website for you so you can go there and uh, find out how to help. Live in Hazeldale, Margie Lynch, K2 News. It did not take long for people to step up, did it, Margie, to help it has out? Not. Thanks for that.